Greetings metalheads and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I'm going to be doing another unboxing video for a recent purchase. This parcel has come all of the way from Portugal from uh, Signal Rex, a record label and a web store, a distro that have an amazing selection of really obscure stuff, mainly black metal so a lot of this and all the articles uh, in this particular order are cassettes of quite obscure black metal bands uh, a lot of modern stuff a lot of interesting things as well to be honest um, a, a lot of these were wild card choices if you like but uh, I've done a few of these sort of unboxings lately and it's, it's fairly enjoyable because half of the time I can't even quite recall what it is exactly that I've ordered but as I say uh, this is black metal tapes from Signal Rex from Portugal. I really would recommend checking them out. Um, the really anomalous thing living here in the UK is that it can cost you more to get things posted within this country than it is to get it posted from Portugal. So I've got a nice little selection of tapes here and the shipping was around 10 euros I think. Um, here in the UK sometimes it can be eight, nine, ten pounds just to have a few CDs or a couple of vinyl shipped. That's crazy. So of course I'm going to support um, Signal Rex from Portugal. Uh, recently we've talked about and I've unboxed um, orders from Shadow Kingdom Records in the USA. It costs me half the price nearly to get stuff shipped over here. Anyway, Back to this particular article, as I say, I can't even quite recall every article that's in here, but I do know that there are some bands um, that are pretty unpronounceable because of the country of origin or the language of origin, but we'll get to that when we're uncovering. So trust these scissors and I'll try not to um, injure myself further uh, after a recent culinary incident. In other words, I can't be trusted in the kitchen, clearly. Very well packaged, nice and secure. Not quite sure what what we've got. A couple of um, card wallets here or card envelopes. Let's just tear open this first one. So, what have we got here then? This is an interesting. Oh, so this I definitely don't remember ordering. Uh, this is a tape in a bag. Um, and I believe that the band here, uh, I recognise the logo, logo, actually it's pretty unpronounceable, but it's the Geist of, uh, and I'm probably going to absolutely butcher this, the Geist of Oachita or Oakita. not quite sure on the pronunciation here, but I know that this is a US black metal band. Um, they have an album out, which was one of the items that I ordered in here, um, and I believe this was an EP. That was released this same year so that's really cool nice clear that is quite cool actually clear tape shell and it well, looks like we've got an insert as well let's just get that out number it says here number 93 of 100 so this is really cool i don't know if you can make that out there i'm loving that artwork though very creepy so it looks like this might actually be a split, a split release between two bands. Um, I know Geist of Oashita or Oakita, not quite sure, as I say. Um, and then it looks like we've got Funeral Tomb as well. Um, or Eternal, I beg your pardon, I think it's Eternal Tomb. A band I'm not familiar with, but uh, this looks like a Signal Rex release as well. Really cool. Yeah, loving that. Um, I'll definitely be checking that, of course, and uh, as I say, a US black metal band, quite an obscure um, act, of course, but new and up and coming. I believe that they only have the, the one album out, but they've got other bits and pieces, other pieces of work that they have done. Um, really raw, good old style black metal. So we'll tear into the main box then. Really cool. That's a nice freebie. I like that. Very much so. So, that's what we like to see. 
we like to see a nice lot of bubble wrap. So let's tear open this particular article. There we are, we are through the bubble wrap. So what we've got here, we'll just take the first item off the top here. So we have, this is from Diabolical Full Moon. This is entitled The Unholy Pagan War Promo Rehearsal. Really neat. Um, this is a band from Poland, another recent discovery of mine. Uh, really kind of raw, old school black metal. Very much in that sort of early Scandinavian second wave black metal style. Really raw, caustic black metal. Just tear that shrink wrap off there so I can actually show you with a little bit less glare. Um, and I believe that this re-release of the promo rehearsal, uh, which is on a nice white tape, this is released through Signal Rex as well. Um, I believe this was, it was recorded in July 2022. So it's a, it's a getting on for a year now, nearly a year. So it's a reissue of that rehearsal from last year. And it includes um, four tracks, really raw primitive black metal, really cool stuff. I do love the, you know, they're, they're really embracing the old school style and the aesthetics there. Um, pretty, pretty interesting, the uh, anti-religious symbols there. We've got the church on fire. You know where they're coming from. This this reeks of mayhem and burzum to me. So that's the first article. Diabolical full moon with unholy pagan war. Promo rehearsal. Then we've got this very nice one. This is from a band which has a fantastic name. This is Werewolf Blood Order. And this is the debut album from that band. I'll try and tear in there get that shrink wrap off so that I can actually show you again without so much glare. So this is the debut album. This is entitled The Rebirth of the Night and the Fog, which is a cool name. So Werewolf Blood Order, I believe they are actually from Brazil. It's got a DIY looking tape there. Looks cool. Uh, show you that artwork. Wow, interesting picture inside as well. Uh, so this is from as I say, this is Werewolf Blood Order, but it's, it's essentially a one-man project, which I assume is this particular chap here, who looks incredibly black metal. Um, I believe this guy's name is something like Werewolf Von Ravenclaw or something like that, which is seriously, seriously black metal. Um, I wonder if it says it here for confirmation. Uh, there's quite a lot of text in there, but really raw, good old black metal. Cool stuff. Definitely, definitely want to check out if you like early ripping mayhem and uh, Dark Throne as well. Sort of circa under a funeral moon. Then we have another one from the USA, I believe. Um, I believe that this is their only album as well. This is from a band called True Iron Will. It's a self-titled tape. Very interesting cover, very unconventionally black metal. That is not a conventional black metal album cover, by no means. There's a tape again, this is a Signal Rex release. Very, very cool. Very simple, very plain and simple. Um, so this is all songs written by, true, by the True Blood Commander of Sanctuary, Desecration, Siege and Supremacy. Now, that's a that's a lot to live up to. That could just be posturing, but that's a that's a bold statement indeed. It's a true iron will, very uh, very interesting modern black metal, really good stuff. As again, I say that's uh, through Signal Rex. So on to our next article. Then looks like we have this is from Signal Rex again. This is Martello. Perpetuo. I believe this is from Brazil. I believe this is a Brazilian act. Um, this is sort of really true to the old school black metal style. Very raw, very, very much a sort of a mayhem or burzum um, influenced act. Very much leaning towards that sort of Scandinavian second wave of black metal style. Good cover though. I do love the sort of occult imagery there. Really neat. Loving that. 
nice red tape shell as well. Very cool stuff indeed. So then we've got some pretty cool imagery as well. Nice little stir. These are, these are good quality. I will say, the one thing I've really noticed about these Signal Rex releases is that none of it feels cheap. It feels very good quality. You know, it's a good quality print on the, um, the card for the inserts and things like that. I have to admit, I am not entirely familiar with this material. I did pick it up because it is, well, it was um, very inexpensive. It was about three or four euros, so I thought that's definitely worth taking a chance on. Up next, I know that this is a band from Spain. However, other than that, there is nothing else about it that I know. Uh, looks like this is another Signal Rex release. Uh, and this is from a band called Mortar. Tear that shrink wrap off. And this is Funabra. Really cool, dark artwork there. Loving that. A nice, clean, white cassette shell again. Really neat stuff. Uh, again, this was a total chance as I had not heard of this band before. However, it was only a few euros, hence why I thought it was definitely worth taking a chance. I'm, I'm getting good vibes here from the imagery, from the artwork. Looks like that's the lineup there, looking very black metal. Of course, Spain has a very healthy metal scene, very healthy underground scene, producing a whole lot of good bands at the minute. So that's why I was encouraged. Absolutely, so that's Mortar. Up next, I believe we have a band from, I want to say Poland. I want to say Poland. This is Vermist, and this is a promo tape from 2021. So just a hack through the shrink wrap. Again, the reason why I took a chance on this one was because it was literally about, I think it was less than two euros. It was about one euro fifty or something like that. Um, so it's definitely worth adding that to the order if you're playing, paying a pretty... Um, standard kind of shipping rate uh, just a plain shell but you don't really expect much more from a neat little promo some pretty creepy kind of artwork there to show that artwork very sinister so it's just two tracks uh, night and fog and merciful murk uh, but what I do like is that it is actually a band rather than just, just a one-man project, if you like. Um, so this is number 40 out of how many? I don't know. I uh, really like the tagline here. It just says, fuck off reality. Really cool. Yep, can't argue with a nice bit of escapism. Um, so this promo for the album Night and Fog, which will be released later in 2021 by Signal Rex. Cool, got to check that out then. Uh, we'll see how we get on with the promo first. A really nice little thing. As I say, it's just a really cool little article just to add for literally a, a, couple, of, a couple of cents, if you like. Uh, so that's what we've got there. Then we've got, this is from a band called Spiritu Moors. Now, I believe that this is a band from Poland. Um, probably need to double check that. But... I know that Poland has a very healthy underground black metal scene um, and I believe in this nice black shell that this is a Polish band that have been making some pretty big waves in that underground scene. Cool artwork again. Loving that. Very dark. Uh, we'll have to check that out before I can say any more on it. Spirit to Moors. Under, this is entitled Under the Sign of Garazel Productions. So yeah, very neat. Neat stuff. Underground black metal. Can't really go wrong. Then we've got one more little article here. Now this one. Ah, and we've got a neat little Signal Rex sticker as well. See that hiding at the bottom there? Very cool, very cool indeed. Uh, so this one, which I'm really not sure what on earth's going on there. This is a split release between two German black metal bands, I believe, and this is entitled Nocturnal Voices and Deviant Rituals. So, um, well, it looks like there might be three bands actually on this particular release. We've got Modrig, we've got Malignitas, and Toad's Marsh. So, those are our three bands there. Cool little shell with 
nice sticker on it. So it is, um, looks like one, two, so we've got four tracks in total. This is a nice little insert. It looks very old school. This looks very, very underground stuff here. Uh, this split tape presents four unreleased rituals. Uh, Modrig recorded 2019, Todas March recorded 2015, and Malignitas recorded 2020. So a little bit of a uh, disparity between the times of recording there, but I just love the fact that this looks so creepy. This looks evil. This looks like evil black metal. So I'm very much looking forward to tearing into that one. So that's actually all of my articles here. So as I say, some of them require a bit more research. Some of them I'm not familiar with. Some of them I am familiar with. Um, but we'll just recap again. So we've got the split here between the Geist of Okashita and um, looks like Eternal Tomb as well. Nice clear tape there. Really, really cool. Then we have our Diabolical Full Moon promo, the Unholy Pagan War. And we've got Werewolf Blood Order, so the birth of the night and the fog. Really cool. True Iron Will. Brilliant stuff. And we've got um, Martello Perpetuo. Martello Perpetuo, rather. And we've got Mortar with Funabra. We've got the Vermist promo. We've got Spiritu, Spiritu Moors. And then we've got that split uh, Nocturnal Voices and Deviant Ritual. Very creepy stuff indeed. Well, I'm very much looking forward to tearing into those and getting myself acquainted with a little bit more underground evil black metal. There's nothing better than getting some tape quality. And I don't know what it is about black metal, raw underground black metal, but it seems to work so well on cassette in that raw primitive analog style. Um, but there's nothing better than grabbing those underground tapes, grabbing yourself a nice full horn and just sitting down and having your own little black metal ritual. Thank you very much for watching my friends. Do feel free to um, share your thoughts and opinions on any of the releases mentioned here today or of course, what are your thoughts and opinions on underground black metal? Are you uh, a, a regular frequenter of the Signal Rex uh, website? Let me know. Very interested to hear. Do check out Signal Rex's web store. Show some support for the underground scene and for the um, black metal underground. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. Feel free to like and subscribe. As always, it's very much appreciated. Hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the little unboxing there. Just showing off a few of my latest purchases check back soon my friends do take care of yourselves and of course stay heavy <laughs>